We're at Wollongong Botanic Gardens and you are officially artist in residence, Jane. Sounds very posh, doesn't it? Artist well, in it residence. Well, it sounds very important. I'll be photographing the gardens all throughout the year and especially the insects, which are my uh, main love. My and passion. I notice you've got a friend with you today. Yes, this is Isabella. Is <laughs> yes. Isabella. She's a little spiny, a spiny stick insect. Oh, a spiny leaf insect. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Isn't she? And they're so big. And I suppose there'd be a lot of people that would look at that and the very thought of that thing even being near their skin would horrify them. But there's no need. I mean, she's a gentle giant. Yeah. She's the female. The males are tiny. Yeah. And she actually makes a great little pet. Lots of classrooms have stick insects and leaf insects as pets. And she's got, what's the, I'm trying to think of the movie with the, the people with the domed skull. Um, Coneheads. Coneheads. Well, she is a bit of a conehead, isn't she? <laughs> completely, hideously ugly yeah. and completely gorgeous. So you're a photographer. How did you start? I actually started photographic human stick insects. I was a supermodel photographer <laughs> in, um, in Europe. But in general, most people, I suppose, would see photographing beautiful people like that as being very exciting and very wonderful, whereas photographing wretched little insects probably wouldn't appeal to many people. Well, obviously, Denzi Klein and you, but not <laughs> to everybody. I'm the opposite. I just, the, the detail in these things just is fascinating. They're so cute and the whole fashion thing looks very glamorous. But, you know, it's not. It's not as glamorous as it looks. Having got your photographs, you obviously what use a digital camera. I use both. I use an ESSA, like a film camera. And I've just got my digital camera and it's fantastic. So I'm sort of experimenting between the two, so. So for instance, with the digital, you just wire it straight into your yeah. computer and you're away. That's it. Whereas no the film. other one, you have to scan them in or something. I've got to send it off, I've got Get to it. wait for the film to come mm. back, da, 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 and you've got all those extra costs. Whereas mm. with a digi. Straight in. Yeah, it costs a bit more, the camera costs a bit more in the first place, but straight in and I can just start working. Now what are you gonna do to the cicada? Well, I've got to turn the image around first, but I'm going to try some other colours just to, because I've got really beautiful, strong colours on this. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens when we change the hues. I mean, it's already a strange looking animal, so I may as well make it look a bit stranger. And I just continue to tweak bits and pieces and change things. Till it's a work of art. Yeah, and what I might even do is have a series of them so I have this one that colour and then I might have the one next to it something completely different and then, you know, so I could have a little series of them. The thing with a computer program is there's so much that you can do. The temptation is to do all of those things, whereas really, as with everything else, less is more. That's the little blue banded mortar bee, one of the Australian native solitary bees. It's a beautiful little thing. Now, how did you get hold of that bee? Patience, patience, patience. It is in mid flight? Yeah. You obviously do flowers and you do insects. Have you done other sorts of things? Um, oh, the ocean is the, because it's the cre and creatures, just creatures in general. Mm. I like taking photographs of lollies too, but yeah. Lollies? Lollies. What's lollies and cakes and things. I think I saw some uh, licorice all sorts. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Because oh, the colours are pretty and again it's got that that innocence and that child, the childhood memories. Mm. Little cutie, cute things. You do naughty things and almost finish up with the sort of images one might expect if one was in a drug-induced state. I sort of like to think of myself, um, I put myself in the garden and it, like in the picture with the creature. So when you are looking at one of my pictures, you are walking with the gargantuan ladybird, you're dive bombing the daisies with the, the bees, you're you know, dueling with mantises at dusk. Mm. You know, you've got that immediacy and that closeness. But it is, a, it's my own world. That's the joy and that's why it's 
art and it's not scientific photographs that I take. I take liberties, I change things, I move things around. You find things in my world that don't exist anywhere else. But you know, that is where the art part comes in. I'm allowed to do whatever I like.